Mm. Getting hit right in the face with that toasted coffee smell and the rich, rich beef. This is amazing. Thank you for stopping by Blessed Barbecue. Today we are going to be cooking up two monstrous cowboy cut ribeye steaks on the pit barrel cooker. I'm gonna be throwing a couple things at you you may not have seen before. So these steaks are over two pounds each. Some are going to say, well, a cowboy cut has the tomahawk bone. That is accurate, but the definition that I like to use is a cowboy cut steak feeds two people, and, and obviously these will. We're going to start off with a little seasoning, and what I'm using is what I call my cowboy coffee rub. Recipe will be down below, and this actually comes out of my new book, which is on Amazon. Check out the link. These are big pieces of meat, very rich, USDA prime beef, and it can handle some bold flavors, and that's what this, this has. Coffee and beef go hand in hand. I mean, it's just wonderful flavors come out of this. And there we are. I'm going to get that pit barrel fired up now, and in the meantime, I'm going to allow these steaks to set, rest, and what I want is for the juices to sweat through the rub, which is going to help the flavors penetrate this meat. So I'll meet you guys at the pit. Burning lump today, I'm going to put just a small handful, small handful of wood chips from a whiskey barrel. It doesn't need a whole lot in the pit barrel. Get that grate in place. Now it's ribeye time. Get those rebar in place. Again, remember these play a role in controlling the temperature here, keeping it at a low and slow temp. Lid on, and we are cooking. So what I'm going to do now is simply monitor the temperature of these steaks. Once they hit 120 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm gonna pull them from the pit. The carrier is gonna bring them up to a nice medium rare. And then while that's happening, we are going to fire this thing up. We're gonna light the afterburners for the final sear. We just hit that 120 degree mark. So let me go ahead and pull these out. And look at these beauties. So like I said, I'm going to get these in the house. We're gonna let them rest, let the carryover bring the temp up to that medium rare. I'll be right out and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to prepare this pit for the next stage of this cook. It's, it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's light the afterburners on this thing. So I have that lower damper fully opened and th there's lump charcoal in there that's really starting to ignite and get hot now. I have here two splits of hickory that I'm going to drop on here. So the wood's already starting to ignite. By the time those steaks are all rested up, this will be the perfect, perfect fire to cook over. It's, it's going to be like cooking over a nice Santa Maria grill or, or an open campfire. So this is gonna be fun. Get the grate on. I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Pit barrel's ready, it is blazing. Steaks are all rested. I blotted them with a paper towel just to get the excess moisture that rose to the surface. And let's sear these bad boys off. Yeah. Look at that. Big shout out and a thanks to my buddy Matt for sending me these gorgeous steaks. Guys, sub, like, ring the bell. Cheers.